like I said, it's relative. It depends on where the location, the region, the space that you want. And that determines how much you're supposed to pay for the land. And I said the size of the land also matters. So 50 by 50 will be less than 100 by 100. But you could even have 100 by 100 less than 50 by 50 in a different location. Echo, echo, echo city. Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. I'm very happy that you have returned to my channel to watch my relevant videos. And if this is your first time, I'll be very glad. Just subscribe, like, share, and then comment. I really want to sometimes read, uh, you know, your opinions on the videos that I put out. Hey, I'm trying this for the first time. So I got it from um, Amazon. I bought it online and then it was shipped to me. So it's DJI uh, microphone. So tell me if this video has quality audio. <laughs> yes, uh, because I know some of you when you watch my videos, you'll be like, Echo, your audio is too low, it's too high, is this, is this. So I had to save a lot of money to buy this. Uh, very expensive. It's about $300 plus. Anyway, I've done well saving money to purchase this. So thank you very much for checking out my video. Like I said, put it up as a comment and let me know. So this video that I'm going to discuss with you is what I have personally observed when it comes to purchasing land in Ghana or the prices when it comes to, you know, purchasing land in Ghana. Um, Ghana has become, if I shouldn't say Africa, Ghana has become one of the refreshing uh, destinations for a lot of African diasporas, yes, who want to come home and then live with its own people. Uh, it could be somebody who has retired after 60 years of hard work out there. They want to have a relaxing, supporting community. So they'll make their mind to move to the motherland. Others will be because they want to change career, yes. Uh, they've been working maybe half of their life out there and they want to try something new here on the motherland. Others uh, is because they want to have a secured life. I mean, I watch a lot of videos. Uh, I, I'm not, I always don't want to talk about those things, but I, I watch a lot of videos. Anytime I, I'm on my, on, my, on my phone, I see a lot of police and the brutality thing and they have to stop you. And sometimes I cry. Sometimes I share the video. I'm like, why are these people going through this? Okay, so some people will love to move to the motherland because they want to have a secured, okay life uh, where nobody's going to stop them and ask them, where's your ID and that kind of thing. I see it and I feel so bad. But hey, uh, if this is your first time, like I said, put up a comment, like, share. If you're returning, do the same. So there's this question that I get from a lot of people due to the fact that Ghana has become a refreshing destination for a lot of people who want to move to the motherland. And that means we are talking about living in Ghana, buying properties in Ghana, establishing yourself in Ghana. Definitely we will look at purchasing a land. So the question that I've been getting or receiving from a lot of diasporas is, Echo, how much is land in Ghana? So today I just wanted to clear a few things so that we would know what exactly goes into uh, the prices on um, land and then buying land here in Ghana. So um, this question is relative. When I say it's relative, it's because Ghana doesn't have a policy that says that everybody is supposed to sell their land or buy their land with this price or with this uh, measurement. No. So there are a lot of things that goes into the pricing. So I came up with these two or three items that we can look at if uh, we want to buy land in Ghana. One is the size, the size of the land. I don't think this is, like I said, this is per my observation. I don't think there's a general rule or policy that says that everybody is supposed to sell a land 80 feet by 100 feet or 100 feet by 100 feet or 70 feet by 100 feet or whatever. It depends on the one who has the land and is ready to sell out. So the land size is a factor when people determine how much they're supposed to sell their land. Usually when you have 80, we, we, we usually have a lot of 80 by 100. Usually you have, you know, the common ones you could get is 80 
by 100, okay? And then uh, we have 80 by 80, but it could go as low as um, 50 by 50. I don't know what somebody's going to do with 50 by 50, but uh, maybe if you, uh, um, you know how to deal with land and uh, spaces, you will know how to build on 50 by 50. But mostly the common ones that you could get people sell is 80 feet by 100 feet. All right, so the second factor we're going to talk about is the location of the land. Yes, the location plays a major role. That should even be the first um, factor or the, the first item one would have to look at. And this determines the price of land. So, for example, when you take Accra, Accra is the capital city of Ghana and is the most hottest, busiest place you could ever live. Yes, Accra. And because uh, due to development ongoing there, due to a lot of factories coming there, a lot of businesses going there, land there is very, very expensive. And there you couldn't even get a land of, let's say, 100 by 100 or 100 by 80 because they feel the place is busy and a lot of people are coming there to, you know, to build factories and all that. Those who have land there decide to price it differently so you could have a land in Accra with a size say 80 feet by 80 feet going for like 5,000 US dollars yes or maybe 4,000 US dollars because like it's I think it's, 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 it's not normal but it is normal for people to sell things that way because the place is busy because whatever you're going to be using that place for will give you uh will give your money back so Land in Accra, for example, is very expensive. Land in Cape Coast is less expensive. Land in, let's say, Volta, Volta region is coming up right now because a lot of diasporans that I know, or a lot of even the local people that I know are purchasing land in Volta region. Same as Cape Coast or Central region. Central region, when it comes to land litigation, we barely hear of such things because development here is a little bit on the low, okay? It's a slow process, and so people are not really fighting for land, okay? Unlike Accra, where development is going on here and there, all right? So the location of the property also determines the price of the land, all right? So these are two things that we have so far mentioned about, you know, purchasing the land here in Ghana. Another example is, you know, of Asebu, okay? You could get uh, land in Asebu for a cool price. You could get land in... Uh, you know, so many places. And then when you talk about location, another place also come. We could have places that is really difficult for you to get there. Land in those places are also cheaper. When I say difficult, it means that the road network is there, but it's rough. So you have to maneuver your way to get to those places. So when that happens, when you buy, when you're selling a land over there and you want to, you know, sell it high price, Nobody's going to come and buy it because already the road is not even good. And then um, when it comes to those places too, we have few facilities there. Like most places or rural communities or certain locations do not have hospitals. They do not have mall. They do not have big markets. They don't have, um, they have good drinking water, but it's not really like good drinking water. Okay, so all of these determines when it comes to the location and then the pricing of land. And so we've mentioned two factors already. Now the third one we're going to talk about is who owns the land. The owner of the land also determines how much they're going to sell it. Because if a land belongs to an individual, he or she may decide to sell it whichever amount he wants to sell it. And that comes with the location, the facilities around that area. Okay? And then if the land belongs to a family or like what is happening with Asebu, this belongs to a traditional leader. He's the king. So they also determine how much they're going to sell a land because the land belongs to a family. It belongs to like a big family. So um, if they have to sell it, they all have to meet up like the elders and then talk about how much they think it will be good for them to sell. So one, the location, one, the size, and then the, the third one is who is selling the land? Who does the land 
belong to. All right, so basically these are the things that I wanted to bring to your notice if you're thinking of purchasing a land or if you're thinking of contacting Echo and asking him, Echo, how much is land in Ghana? Like I said, it's relative. It depends on where, the location, the region, the space that you want. And that determines how much you're supposed to pay for the land. And I said the size of the land also matters. So 50 by 50 will be less than 100 by 100. But you could even have 100 by 100 less than 50 by 50 in a different location. So I said the location plays a major role when it comes to purchasing a land here in Ghana. So thank you very much for checking me. I decided to bring you this video. Enjoy it. Put up a comment and let me know what you also think about purchasing a land here in Ghana.